So I'll start with sort of the key biology behind Rett syndrome. Um, so it's important to establish that Rett syndrome is not a neurodegenerative disease, but it's a neurodevelopmental disease. Um, so the neurons in the brain that are affected are there, um, but what is affected is their ability to communicate with each other. So they lose synapses and they also lose synaptic function. Um, and the sort of spectrum of broad set of symptoms that you see in Rett syndrome um, sort of reflects that broad pathology across the brain. What trafinitide does um, is it restores that synaptic function, allowing the cells to communicate with each other. And I think that's reflected in the broad set of improvements we saw in the phase two trial of trafinitide. Trafinitide itself is a um, analog of um, a naturally occurring protein in the brain, which is a tripeptide um, coming from IGF-1. Um, so really it mimics something uh, that normally occurs and is needed for normal brain function.